Well, guess what? What? It's Valentine's Day. Aww. And guess what? What? I love you. <laughs> Box of chocolates. Thank you. And I want to give this to you. Ooh, Aww. do you remember that bit that Jim Gaffigan did? Yes. Oh, with <laughs> the chocolate. We talked about chocolates and then he bit into the one that tasted yeah, like, like toothpaste. toothpaste. Yes. So here's the truth. There's probably, because I, I grab, we grabbed this quick, so there's a couple in here that taste like toothpaste. So we're going to have to test it out. How about, look, when we come back, we're going to, we're going to this, we're going to taste test this box of chocolates, because life is like a box, box of, of chocolates. chocolates. You never know which one's going to taste like toothpaste, toothpaste. right? <laughs> we'll be right back. Everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Confessions. Christy's doing her little dance. It's a Motivation Monday, also Valentine's Day. Make sure Happy you're sending Valentine's your love Day. out to the one you love. Most importantly, God loves you. We love you. We're glad you're here, a part of our C2 family. That's what's up, man. It's going to be a great day in God together. And uh, so I was thinking to start this off and get Let's motivated, we should start Monday by eating chocolates, you know? I, <laughs> I, <laughs> Very motivating. Yeah, my daughters eat cookies and brownies, brownies. for breakfast. Yeah. You know, my, my daughter comes home from school, digs into the ice cream. I'm like, how do you do that? Yep. I can't even do that if I want to. But anyways, yes. let's, wait, we will since it's Valentine's okay. Day. So pick one. Start with it. Um, okay. And we're going go to here. see who gets the The one filled toothpaste. with toothpaste. They probably taste good, but every box, because life is like that, you know, and every one. What would you get? Ah, you got the toothpaste, oh, I yeah. win. <laughs> yep. Crest right in there, man. <laughs> so they do, they save money that way. They just go to the dollar store and buy toothpaste. But you're, you're going to eat it, you're, aren't you? You're going to eat the whole thing. Well, here's the thing. I kind of like that taste of like after you toothpaste? drink orange juice and you, you like hit some soda That's or like disgusting. energy. I'm like, I'm cool with that. That's gross. I can tell you this. Everything's better when you wash it down with coffee. <laughs> because here at Coffee and Confessions, we drink some coffee. And we love to confess the word of God, man. That's what we're going to do together. We have a short teaching we're going to do with you. And then just towards the end of the show, we're going to do a couple confessions. We, be, we believe the power of life and death is in the tongue. It's a little harder than I thought to eat chocolate and then go ahead and speak. <laughs> but I'm going to push through. It's all, all good. good. It's all good. Now we're having a great time together. And we're so glad you're here. I want to tell you I really do love you. I you're love the, you too. Yeah. Thank you. My best friend in the whole world. Aww. I think you're beautiful and amazing. Hey, don't make me cry. Yes. I love you. I will make you cry. I love you. All right. <laughs> no, I won't. I was going to say some mushy stuff, but I won't say any more. <laughs> what I will do is talk about the Word, and that's yep. what we're going to do together. Let's get this day started right, and let's go for the verse of the day. All right. The verse of the day is from Galatians chapter 1, verse 10. For am I now seeking the approval of man or of God, or mm. am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. Yeah, you know... So this last week at Living Word Gilbert, I brought a message. It was called The Audience of One, this last Sunday at, <laughs> at Gilbert. And, uh, you know, the idea here is to have freedom from this thing called approval addiction, which I think is running rampant through our society right now. And so in the message, we talked about how do you get free from needing that others to hit that like button on your life or to, to agree with, you know, that you're doing X and, and Y in your life and we all approve of that because... It's so easy it's to get just, caught up in that. It's such a motivation, um, especially in today's society. And I look at the kids um, that are in school right now, and looking back to when we were in school, there was, you know, you'd go to somebody's house, and they might yeah. have, like, pictures on the wall of their friends or different things like that, and that's where you might kind of, you know, feel they're doing something when you're not doing something yeah. you kind of have that but it's only if you really see it or it's what you have in your mind but today you know it's like you know whatever's going on at school you know kind of stays at school and you can kind of get away from it you know yeah. but not today today yeah. it's just rampant and you know the the kids are sitting there on their devices and they're seeing you know um, pictures of their friends doing stuff or you know things happening or different things like that and it's you know it's just a, a a FOMO society. FOMO, that's a great way to put it. Everybody's looking for that 
the likes, the follows, mm -hmm. the views the, mm -hmm. on their life, as if when others notice that brings value, but God created each one of us with value already. Yeah. And he already has approved of you and who you are in Jesus. And so because of that, he says, this is my beloved son and daughter whom I'm well pleased. Mm -hmm. You know, but I didn't understand that when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was a kid, um, one thing that I wanted more, and it took me all through my adult years really to grow in it and know more. But the one thing I really wanted when I was in the fifth grade was this t-shirt. And this t-shirt that I wanted was, it was actually, it was a Guns N' Roses t-shirt right here. <laughs> Appetite for Destruction. That was like, so this band comes out of LA and just kind of barnstorms into the country and the world really. And, and I'm like, they have the coolest graphics and the coolest, like I wanted that because I felt like if I could just get that t-shirt, I walk on campus and immediately I got clout, oh, yeah. like I'm the man. Because no one really in fifth grade was getting that. I mean, why wouldn't you want to buy this for your fifth grader, right? <laughs> Everybody would want to buy, you know, a cross with skulls on it for their fifth grade, you know, son. But of course, my dad said I couldn't have it. No matter how much I begged and pleaded and told him my life would be complete. Mm. It just, he wasn't going to do it. Mm -hmm. And so I realized, though, that there was something deeper in me that basically said that I need others to approve, think I'm cool, like me, um, have those ideas about me. And you know what I found later, even when I did get that or didn't get that, it really didn't change what right. was going on in the inside of me. Mm -hmm. I needed, what I needed was something else. That's right. comes, something that comes from God. That's right. I mean, we all start off, you know, certain situations. If I just had this to start off, and we look at even our life, and mm -hmm. we say, you know, well, if I just started out my life like this, or if mm -hmm. I, you know, we look for... Um, new pastures, I guess, yeah. and, and think that, you know, if, if I just was over here, if I just had that, or if I could just, then everything would be perfect. And that's not, there's just something innately in us um, created f to, to long for that. But yeah. it's when we misplace it. It's when we misplace it and we put it on uh, physical things of the world mm -hmm. or, or people around us to to fill that when God has play, made a place for that that only he fills yeah it that longing um, to be to be like that longing to to be loved that longing yeah. to be accepted is put there by God because he's yes. supposed to fill that yeah I like that in that book you remember, I, we talked about it once before the seven longings of the human heart mm -hmm. and in this book he talks about that God has kind of put a need inside of each of us to there are seven of them, but three of them that, that pertain to what we're talking about is to be enjoyed. Mm -hmm. All of us want to be enjoyed. Like, I like it when yeah. you enjoy me, and I'm pretty sure it's the vice versa. And, and all of us want to have, want to feel, we want to see beauty and we want to feel beautiful. Absolutely. And so, but there's a natural sense of that, but then there's a supernatural sense of that. Mm -hmm. And there's days where you don't feel that <laughs> beautiful <laughs> and other days where you might. Mm -hmm. But yet there's something deeper and more um, and even the need to be great. Like you want to you want to do something great. You want to be great. Those aren't it's not necessarily wrong. It's actually a part of your heart. But how we go about getting those needs fulfilled yeah. can leave us more empty and more dry than when we started. It'll also leave us in a position where we try to tear others down in order to get to that position. Mm -hmm. And that's really a problem that can be a cancer in your life. And that needs to be cut out somehow. And so the thing is, this is. What I found and what you know and what we teach our kids and what we talk about in general is that God approves you right now just as you are. You don't have to aim constantly in the social media age and culture. It's like, you know, I don't know how many times I've put, thought I had the perfect, you know, tweet or the perfect Facebook post or the perfect <laughs> picture and you can't find it. It's, it's almost like a form of, of lust, like we're lusting for other people to validate and approve the way we look, the way we talk, the way we mm -hmm. act, even our belief systems, yeah. like way we're, where we stand politically. And uh, it's really adding more division. Well, what if we did just like the father looked at Jesus before Jesus did one thing on the earth. He hadn't even started his ministry mm -hmm. yet. And he said, this is my beloved son, and my beloved daughter, in well whom I'm well pleased. pleased, man. God's saying that over you today. I want you to know that. That's right. That he is well pleased in you. Why? Because of your faith in Christ. Because you're his son. You're his daughter. Amen? Amen. Isn't that a beautiful thing just to think about? And so if you're looking for, <laughs> you don't want to look look for love in the wrong places, right? You've got, you're not looking for nub anymore. <laughs> you're looking to heaven. 
That's to right. find the approval, the love, and everything and that you need. And he fills all of those, the longings that we were talking about, all of those places. So if you feel a void, if mm-hmm. you feel um, that you are not loved, yeah. if you feel that you're not beautiful, if you feel, what are some of the other ones? Yeah, I mean, um, all those things. You're you not great. If you feel you're not great or, or successful. Or doing something big or successful, exactly. yeah. Um, then now is the time to, to look to Jesus and, and have him fill that and, and find your beauty in, in what he says. He says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, that we are altogether beautiful, that there's no flaw in us. Um, that's how God sees us. And yeah. so if you're feeling like that, just it's time to just hand it over and just, you know, kind of symbolically put it in your hands and just say, you know, Father, I'm going to give this to you because I know who I am in you. I know you who you've made me to be. I know that you have plans for me to prosper prosper me, not to harm me. Um, he's got great things for you. And you don't even know um, the people that you're, um, you're touching right now, just no in your doubt. everyday life. So you are very... Um, you could very well be doing something great and not even realize that yeah. there's a um, the magnet that we have. It yeah. says that you may be um, to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. No um, so just know you You're might be God's doing family. something great um, in somebody's life, and you don't even realize it just by befriending them. Yeah. So how do you access that? It's called assuring your own heart. You need to. So if you're not feeling these things right now, they are spiritual realities and truths that right. when they're manifested in your spirit, your soul, your mind, they will bring the peace and the fruits of the spirit that you're looking for. What won't do it is all the things that come from the world. And you'll find joy and peace and satisfaction. How you have to do it, you assure your heart. And one way that we assure ourselves, you look at what God says, you, you remind yourselves, you meditate upon what God has said about you. And then as it sinks in deeper, it becomes your reality. One of the ways we do that is by confessing the word. Confessing the word is the way that, that's why this show is called Coffee and Confessions. It's a way to assure your heart of the truths of what God says. So let's just say a couple simple ones together as we uh, move forward in the show. We're going to make these confessions. Are you ready? I do not need the approval of man when my Father in heaven approves of me right now, just as I am in him. Amen. Power, assure yourself now. Say it. I I do do not not need need the approval approval of man man when when my my Father in heaven heaven approves of me right right now, just just as as I am in him. Praise God. Approval addiction is broken in my life in Jesus' name. Declare this together. Approval Approval addiction addiction is broken broken in my my life in Jesus' name. name. What's up, girl? (laughs) Way to get it down. Let's go. Man, we want you to like, subscribe, and comment below. Yo, comment. and (laughs) Shout us out if you subscribed uh, to the show. We'd love for you to be able to now check it out, too. We have our Spark Marriage event that's going to be coming up. Uh, just next week. February 23rd. Yeah, it's going to be next week, so make sure you're there. It's in downtown Gilbert. Um, we're going to have a great time. We're going to be talking about marriage, having a great time together. The place will look amazing. Have a lot of family and friends there. You're going to love it. So go ahead and you can sign up for that um, on our website, livingwordgilbert.com. Man. Cool? And go ahead, and if this has blessed you, go ahead and share it. Yep. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. All we right. love you.